Hey again from the garden, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. If you are new to my channel, I grow cut flowers in Northwest Iowa in zone 5A. And for those of you who are not new to my channel, you've probably noticed I have not posted a video for a couple weeks. It has just been absolutely insane here. I have not only been busy with the farmer's market and harvesting flowers, um, I now do uh, every other week deliveries to a bakery with flowers. Plus, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm a full-time professional photographer. I have been for 20 years, and we are in the height of senior picture season right now. So I have uh, shoots every single day, and so I have just fallen a little bit behind in the YouTube videos. But anyway, I am out here this evening doing some work. I am harvesting flowers for both the market and a floral delivery. Um, tonight, I am also starting to pinch some dahlia is better late than never on one of my patches and then of course um, I probably this week will be filming another garden tour because the garden is completely exploding and looks way different from my last garden tour but anyway in this video I want to share with you guys the flowers I'm harvesting tonight for my first ever delivery to a florist I am really excited about this now this florist is about 20 minutes away from me I have been visiting with her since the beginning of the season she reached out to me and asked if I sold to florist and I said I would let her know when I have enough flowers blooming um, that I have excess other than what I need for my market bouquets that I can provide some for her so I'm finally at that point you know, I planted twice the flowers this year than I did last year, and I still don't have enough. So next year, I will be adding even more beds. Um, but anyway, I want to take you around the garden and show you what I am harvesting for her, and then show you how I harvest them and bunch them, and then show you the end product that I'm going to be delivering to her. All right, so I thought I would just read through you the list of what she sent me that she wants um, for tomorrow's delivery. So I basically sent her pictures of what I have blooming in the garden right now, and then she sent me back a message of what she is interested in and the quantities that she wants. Now, when you sell to florists, basically you sell in bunches of 10, and I actually talked to another flower farmer to confirm that I was doing this correctly. I had in my head that you sell in bunches of 10 and that the um, most common website that you go to is the USDA Boston website. Um, I believe that's what it's called. I will link it in the description to this video, but that is kind of the standard wholesale pricing that um, flower farmers go off when when they sell to florists. So I am selling in bunches of 10. Some varieties are bunches of five, um, like dahlias, which I am not selling to her this week. Um, so all of these will be sold in bunches of 10. All right, so I sent her pictures of what I have blooming and she came back at me and said that she wants um, 10 each of a couple times kinds of Rebecca, two kinds of Echinacea, a certain kind of Lysianthus. Um, she wants Snapdragons, Bupleurum, assorted Yarrow, lots of Xenias in assorted colors. Um, so 10 of each, except she wants 20 Xenias and 20 Snapdragons. So I'm gonna take you around the garden and show you those varieties that I'm harvesting for her. Then I'm gonna get harvested and then I will show you, um, it'll probably finish up tomorrow when I'm bunching these and making that delivery. Okay, so this is the first type of Rebecca that she's interested in. I believe this is the Cherokee Sunset variety. It is a double Rebecca and it has really good stem length so far for me. So I'm gonna be giving her 10 of these and then if we pan over, right here this rebecca right in the middle um, that is a single rebecca not exactly sure what variety is but she's also interested in this plain yellow rebecca now i'm not sure that i'm going to have 10 of these so i may see if she would be interested in filling in with some prairie sun um, but that i will have to do last minute because some of these are still opening so i probably will have to wait till tomorrow morning to let her know that and then if we pan up, you can see one of my Snapdragon patches. She wants an assorted bunch of 20 Snapdragons, so I will easily be able to fill this. So this is one of my patches of Yarrow. She wants an assortment of colors of this, so that will be easy to fill. And then if I pan down from there, let me zoom in a little bit. This is a deep purple Lysianthus. I think it's actually called Echo Blue. 
And this is the color of Lysianthus she is interested in. So I'm gonna give her 10 of these. All right, then this is my Xenia patch. I'm kneeling down. They are not actually up to my shoulders. Um, but most of these are the Benary's Giant Series. And you can see it is just a sea of Xenias in here. So she wants 20 Xenias, a variety of colors. That will be easy to fill. And the flowers on these are just such a great size. Um, now I'm gonna be making sure that all of these are okay to cut. Now, if you are harvesting zinnias, you wanna wiggle the stem to make sure that it is sturdy enough. If it wobbles, you don't wanna harvest it. But I think that a lot of these are ready to harvest. So I should have plenty for her, plus my market bouquets for tomorrow night. The next thing I'll be harvesting for her is Bupleurum. I actually have a bunch of this in the fridge already that I harvested this morning. Bupleurum tends to wilt for me once in a while, so I wanted to make sure that all the stems were going to be tough enough. Um, so I definitely won't have a problem filling this for her. Bupleurum is a beautiful filler. I am definitely growing more of this next year. This is the Ageratum that I have blooming. She wants 10 stems of this. That will be easy to fill. And then I have two types of Echinacea blooming that she wants. This first one, let me zoom in a little bit. This is a double Echinacea, it's called Cantaloupe. This has been super popular in my market bouquets. And then if I pan up, that is a white Echinacea. I'm not 100% sure on the variety. It could be Pow Wow White, but she would like 10 stems of this. Now with the white Echinacea, I have to be really careful to make sure that the petals are nice and clean and no bug damage. White flowers can be a little trickier, but it looks like I have a decent amount blooming here that I'm hoping I can get 10 stems for her. I definitely need to count these this evening. I will probably wait and harvest these in the morning. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get harvesting and I'm gonna make sure that I have enough stems for her tomorrow because I told her I would let her know tonight if there's anything that I am short on. I'm probably gonna harvest the Rubecchia first. So I'm gonna start harvesting this and then I will show you what I have harvested tonight. And then this video, like I said, will probably conclude tomorrow morning when I am bunching those stems and making that floral delivery. All right, so I'm done harvesting for this evening. These are the 10 stems of assorted yarrow that I'm going to be taking to her. I also have Lysianthus harvested, um, some Echinacea, some Rubecchia, some Snapdragons, all my Bupleurum. So I'm gonna take you inside and show you what is in the fridge. Tomorrow morning, I will harvest the rest of it, um, which would be Xenias, more Snapdragons, and the rest of the Echinacea. Oh, and the Ageratum. I'll do that in the morning as well. So let me take you inside. All right, so let me show you what I have in my fridge that's gonna go to her tomorrow. So this bucket of Rubecchia is going to her. Let me close this in case the door of the fridge throws the lighting off. Um, but this is that double Rubecchia. I think it's Cherokee Sunset. These are all going to her. This is the single Rubecchia that I only have um, four or five stems of. I'm gonna ask her if she wants some Prairie Sun. Otherwise, I'll just sell her five stems instead of the 10. Then this bucket is for her. I have assorted snapdragons. I'll be picking more in the morning. These are all of the dark purple lysianthus that she requested. And these are white echinacea that she requested. I will get the orange ones tomorrow. And then in the bottom of my fridge, I have the bupleurum for her. So that's gonna do it for tonight. This video will pick back up tomorrow morning when I am out harvesting the rest of the snapdragons, the zinnias, the ageratum, and the cantaloupe echinacea. Okay, so all of my snapdragons were harvested. I'm gonna go clean the leaves off of these and then we will get to harvesting all of the zinnias. 
All right, so I am in the zinnia patch, and as you can see, it is completely exploding. I also have a few weeds going on. Oh my gosh. Let me get rid of those. All right, so my florist wants 20 zinnias of a variety of colors, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get those picked, and then I will harvest my zinnias for my market later. And that is such a nice long stem for a zinnia. Two. Now when you harvest zinnias, you wanna do the wiggle test. So I'm wiggling the stems. These are all pretty good. Ooh, that's a really good one, but that has too short of a stem. You don't want it to be wobbly, otherwise the zinnia is going to wilt right away. See, I don't know if you can see that. This one's a little bit wobbly. Well, that's another weed. This one is nice and firm. Okay, I'm just gonna start making a pile over here. That's a good one. I mean, these are really long stem length. They should be really great for her. Hopefully I'm not out of camera view when I'm doing this for you guys. This one's gorgeous. I think this one might be salmon rose maybe. Here's another one. Now all of these that I'm harvesting are from the Benary's Giant series. They give huge flowers. So they can make really good focal flowers in your market bouquets. This one's pretty firm. I need a few yellow for her. That one's still a little bit wobbly. This one's firm. I also have an entire row of the Queen Lime series. So I may cut a few of those for her, but I want them to be the bigger ones because I don't want them to be too small compared to the Benary's Giant. That is a really beautiful bloom. There's a few more over here that are really big. It is almost starting to get hard to walk through here now. Okay, I got a few more. I'm gonna go clean the leaves off of these and count how many I have, and then we will harvest a few more. I'm gonna try and find her one of these green ones that's not too far gone. Uh, I also want to make sure that there's no bug damage on the petals because you never want to send something that's really damaged to a florist. I mean, you don't want to sell anything that's really damaged, but I especially don't want to take something that's really damaged to a florist. This one's a little far gone because it's showing too much pollen. Ooh, here's a really nice magenta one. That one's a little short though. I think I'll save this for um, my mini bouquets. I'm probably being way too picky about which one I pick for the last one for her. I just really want this first delivery to be good, you know? Okay, this should be more than enough zinnias. I'm gonna take everything inside and then I'm gonna show you all the flowers that I have for my delivery. All right, so I am inside my photography studio now. This is everything that I have harvested for her. So basically, I'm gonna sort things out in bunches of 10 and get them ready to deliver to her. So I'm gonna start with my yarrow. Let me move things around here. All right, so this is the yarrow I picked last night. I know that there is more than 10 stems in here, so I wanna sort out some really strong ones. Um, that are a variety of colors. This one looks a tad bit far gone, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That one's a little wilted. Seven, eight, nine, and then let's do this one for 10. All right, so there is my bunch of yarrow. These I'm gonna set aside and use in my bouquets today. Now yarrow and zinnias I like to keep separate from the rest of the flowers because from what I have read, they are ones that will make the water um, dirty. And so when you're storing your flowers, you don't necessarily want to mix them. So I'm gonna put the yarrow and the zinnias in a bucket together. And I also need to get um, a bucket just for my 
um, flowers for market today. So I'm gonna do a little switcheroo here. Okay, fresh water in the yarrow bucket. Now I'm gonna count out 20 zinnias for her. So one, two, three. And as I am counting these, I am making sure that there is no bug damage on the top um, and that they are in good looking condition. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, these are all a variety of colors. Let me get a handle on these here. So those are the zinnias that are going to her. All right, so zinnias and yarrow, those are done. And put this yarrow in with this extra zinnia that I had picked. I'm just gonna set this to the side because I'm gonna use these for my stuff today. All right, so Rebecca. So she wants 10 of the double, which I believe is a Cherokee sunset. And then she wanted 10 single, which I do not have enough of. So I'm gonna mix in some Prairie Sun and maybe a few more of the extra um, doubles. So I'm gonna count out the doubles first, two. And some of these actually, like this one has two on a stem. So she's actually getting kind of a bonus. So one, two, three seven so these are the singles in the prairie sun here's another single eight so i need two more in here for her let's give her these two all right so there's 20 rebecca done these extras are going in my bucket. Okay, she just texted me and I'm heading up there in about 20 minutes to meet her um, a half hour after she opens to do the exchange. Then I'll be able to come back and uh, get ready for my market for today. All right, she wants 10 of the cantaloupe echinacea. That's what these are. Then I need 10 of the white echinacea. So one, two, all right, 10 of the white echinacea. Then I need to put 20 snapdragons in here. And when I sort out these snapdragons, I wanna make sure that I get some of the ones with the longest stems. Um, actually, let's sort out the lisianthus first. She wanted the dark purple lisianthus, which I think is the echo blue. And I might have a couple blooms I need to trim off of these, so I'm gonna get my clippers. Lysianthus I pick when there is one or more blooms open. I like to wait till there's almost two or three open, but you can pick it when there's one open too. So this one just has one. That one's kind of got a curved stem. Let me see how many I have. That has four blooms open. Two. Oh, see, here's a bad bloom. So I'm gonna clip that off because I don't want to give that to her. Isn't that beautiful? And three. Okay. So there's my Lysianthus. Echinacea. Let's, I know I have, um, I have a couple extra ageratum stems in here for her, but a few were a little bit spindly, so I'm just gonna give her a few extra. So I'm gonna tuck those right in here also, or maybe with the Rebecca. Well, let's put them in here. I don't want anything to get squished. Okay, then I'll probably put the snapdragons and I'll put the snapdragons in here. I'm gonna keep the bupleurum by itself because that is just so crazy. All right, so let me pick out 20 snapdragons that have a thicker stem um, that are really nice blooms. So one, two, three, four, five, 20. Okay, here's my snapdragons, variety of colors. I planted mostly Potomac and Costa Snapdragons this year. I found that they had the longest stem length and the strongest stems. Um, next year I already have some Snapdragons ordered and that again is what I'm going to be trying. I do want to try a few of the Chantilly because I know that those bloom earlier. Um, Madame Butterfly I think are really beautiful but I found they don't have quite as long a vase life. Um, so I'll probably stick with the Potomac and the Costa series. And I'm going to tuck these right in next to my Echinacea. These are going to go for my bouquets. I still have a lot of harvesting to do today. All right, now I just need to count out my stems of Bupleurum. 
And Bupleurum is a, such a crazy filler. I have really enjoyed using this this year. This is the first year I've grown it, but I really, really like it. So one. I mean, look at that. That is massive. Two, three. So just a final recap. Bupleurum, Rubecchia, my bucket of Lysianthus, Echinacea, Snapdragons, and Ageratum, and Xenias and Yarrow. What a beautiful flower haul for this florist. I am so excited to see what she thinks. I hope everything looks up to her standards. Um, I will make sure to, at the end of this video, let you guys know what she thinks, um, but I I'm really excited to take this first delivery to her. Um, now I should touch a little bit on pricing because I'm sure you guys are gonna ask in the comments. I figure my pricing by looking at the USDA um, Boston, uh, you, if you Google Boston USDA Wholesale Cut Flower Pricing, it'll bring up um, their weekly price list on what all the varieties of cut flowers are going for wholesale pricing. Um, every week. So every week they put out a new document and it tells you the current pricing. Now some of these were not on the list such as like Echinacea, Ageratum. Um, I don't even think Rebecca and Xenias were on the list. So I just asked a f another flower farmer in the area and she said $10 for a bunch of 10. Now all of these are sold in bunches of 10. Some um, specialty flowers are sold in bunches of five since, such as dahlias. I do not currently have any dahlias blooming so everything I I'm selling is in bunches of 10. So anyway, I'm going to load these up. I'm going to make this delivery up to the florist and I will let you know what she thinks. Okay, so I am back for my floral delivery. It went awesome. She was so happy with how the flowers looked. In fact, she said that she wanted me to contact her next week and let her know what I have. And I also got a few tips while I was there visiting with her. Um, she also gets some flowers from another local flower farmer, one that is a little further away um, from her than I am. And so she has her flowers shipped. And so it was interesting to hear uh, what local delivery service she uses and how she packs them. Them. So I did get some tips that way. And then she also told me that when she gets all her flowers wholesale, they are not cleaned off. She just gets them um, right when they're cut. So I was stripping all the leaves off for her. I didn't necessarily have to do that. I do like to take at least the bottom leaves off because it doesn't make, or it will um, not make the water murky. Um, but I don't know that I have to do all of the stripping that I was doing for her. So that was a really good tip to know too. So if I really like like supplying her with flowers, I may reach out and try to find some other florists in the future. Um, but of course, I need more planting space for that. So anyway, this is a great learning experience and this is going to be the start of something really good, I think. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. I need to get busy making my market bouquets for the farmer's market today, which will be another video you guys will see this week. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you soon.